Welcome back to another Black Star video. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk more about DJET, Stablecoin, and the announced Liquid platform going on mainnet this week as well. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. So welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. If you like my content, please hit that like button. If you want to get notified every time I make a video, hit that bell notification. Subscribe to the channel. Let's grow it. Let's keep it moving. Anyway, today we're going to talk about DJ and Liquid, both going on mainnet very shortly in a couple days, maybe hours from the time I make this video. And I'm going to talk about what I believe and how I think they intercorrelate and what the purpose is and why Liquid actually waited this long to launch. So let's get it. So if we take a look at Cody's Twitter page, we can see that DJ update for January 30th, the chain index sync completed, pool operators fees reduced, and community questions answered. So they have a Medium article and explaining all these things that are going on right now. So the sync is actually completed, which we were waiting for. Cody can launch the day I release this video, which is going to be the 31st of this month, if not the first couple of days in February, which can be either Wednesday, Thursday, and or Friday. But they did say they were going to release at the end of the month, and there's a lot going on with Cody. I'm going to link this Medium article, which is, is right here. I'll have it in the description. They're going to the questions, right? Why do you choose Wave as a stake pool operator? Evidently, they've been dealing with them since 2019. Please explain the high delegation reward fees. They go into detail about that. Operational fees are 0.05%. And then they give you a few examples. If Alice chooses to mint Shen, for 10,000 ADA, she will pay a fixed fee of 100 ADA, 1% 1 on entry. Another 54 ADA, 0.54% reduced from her delegation rewards in one year. Bob chooses to deposit 100,000 ADA, he will pay a fixed fee of 100 ADA, 1%. 1 Another 760 ADA, 0.76% from delegation rewards, the total fee will be 0.86% in one year. Then it goes on to say Chris deposits 1 million ADA in order to mint Shen. He will pay an operational fee of 100 ADA, 0.01%, and an additional 7,900 ADA from his first year delegation award. The total fee will be 0.8%. Alternatively, if Chris had chosen to deposit the same amount and redeem it back, after a couple of days, he would have paid 200 ADA as operational fee, and that's a penalty. So they want to try and keep you delegating to the pools and keep it within its ecosystem so that way it actually um, reduces uh, malicious activity. So if you're going to put in a certain amount of ADA and you try to pull it out, trying to crash your system, you're going to pay a higher fee. And remember, this is the additional 7,900 ADA is from the rewards he would collect after one year. So if he tries to take it out before then, he pays, he'll just pay the 200 ADA. But I'm sure that there's going to be some operational fees and, and rewards if he receives rewards and so on. So they go through it in this article. You can read it. I want to get this video out so that way we can update you guys as, as soon as possible about what's going on with DJ. They also have this updated 2023 roadmap. So it's first DJ, G Cody, Treasury 2.0, Cody Pay Business, and Cody V.2. So hopefully this all happens this year. Again, there's a Medium article that explains everything that's in here. The collapse of Luna, Celsius, and FTX has forced us all to introspect and build towards a future that is more decentralized, transparent, and fair. This also means that builders in the space will need to adjust some form of regulatory and oversight, regulation and oversight. So we do need some type of regulation so that way bad actors don't continue to be bad actors. It's very easy without regulation for people to act in a bad way, such as FTX, Celsius, and look what happened to Luna. Now, I don't believe we can hold the know the whole story about what happened with Luna other than someone crashed the network, whether it was its developers or its founder. Um, I think it's uncertain at this point, but someone did act maliciously and destroyed that that great ecosystem. So it goes on to say the goals of 2023, obviously it's DJ, G Cody, the treasury, Cody Pay. There's a nice video. Then Cody Pay explain. You would have the payment gateway, the bridge to branded wallets, the loyalty token and payment token. As time goes on, the infrastructure of blockchain technology uh, trying to get into the hands of the commoners like me and you is going to be really, really big. I have another video I'm going to release on my views on blockchain and how it's going to affect our day-to-day -day lives. And I'm going to release that in a couple of days. But I do block think blockchain is going to make major headroom 
in our everyday lives that no one else is really talking about and it's going to end a lot of stuff but also with everything good there's there's bad right for you or and or me sometimes that might be good i may think something's good and you may think something's bad and vice versa so the roadmap for Cody, I'm going to put in the description as well a link, and then you can uh, get your perspective of what their, their views are for 2023, which is really amazing. Hopefully, they get everything done with Cody Pay and, and, and its interoperability. It's going to be um, very big. I believe that it eventually be a side chain on Cardano because they do have an, uh, an Ethereum side. So let's see what happens. So Liquid today announced this testnet. Preview testnet for Liquid Finance, the new ADA market with the latest audit fixes and contracts for Oracle's liquidation and liquid staking has been deployed in a preview testnet. So this is the Liquid's Dow Finance main site. Uh, very nice, simple site. And there's tons of information here, you know, who their, their partners are, Vacuum Labs, M Labs, and their social media links. DeFi lending simplified. And this is the, the testnet right here. It's live. I'm going to put a link in the description. And then you can uh, check it out yourself. It also accepts different types of wallets, right? It, it takes Juro, the Flint wallet, and Eternal. You have to be on the preview testnet for it to function. So right now I have test data. We can do supply. All right, so the batching is done. It took a little bit. It takes a couple of minutes for the batching to go through, maybe a minute or two. Let's click on supply ADA. All right, so now I reconnected with the preview testnet. I was on pre-prod. We have 10,000 ADA. Let's do this once again. All right, this time is going through. Let's see what happens. But if you notice, is it is taking some ADA as even though I'm signing the transactions, everything is saying that it's, there's a problem. Some of the ADA has been missing so far. Six ADA, a little under six ADA. Um, not too sure what that's about, but let's hope that Liquid Labs kind of fix this. Let's close. And as you can see, we supply 2,000 ADA, right? We can withdraw, supply some more. Well, let's supply max and see what happens. So as you can see, we now have 9,999 minus uh, eight and a half. Just under eight and a half uh, ADA. There we go. Let's borrow. So maybe they don't have everything functioning 100% yet, but this is just a test net. You can add funds to it, namely ADA, and then work from there. So getting back to DJED, when it goes over their fees, minting minimum is going to be 5,000 DJED. Burning minimum is going to be 1,000. Mint burn fee is going to be 1.5%. Same thing for Shen, 5,000, but a minimum, of, minimum burning is 2,500. And then burn mint fee is going to be one half percent. DJ and Shen mint burning operational fee is going to be 100 minimum ADA. They go over that in medium article rather. And here goes the breakdown in the medium article, right? DJ mint burn fee, minimum mint requirement, minimum, minimum burn requirement. Same thing for Shen, breaks it all down. And this article is pretty uh, in depth. In the past few months, we worked on enabling the reserved ADA on the DJ Smart contract to earn delegation rewards for Shen holders. We are happy to announce that the hard work paid off and delegation rewards for Shen holders will be included in the new protocol DJ 1.11. The immediate technical setup we have devised will be temporary until a more robust multiple pool staking technology be presented, planned for DJ 1.3. Then it goes on to say the rewards received by the pool will be calculated based on a snapshot taken during each epoch. Delegation rewards would be automatically distributed to eligible Shen holders that held Shen during the epoch for which the rewards are distributed. The rewards from the pool will be distributed every fourth consecutive epoch, roughly 20 days, and transferred to eligible Shen holders directly to their wallets without any additional action on their part. So remember, if you buy Shen off an exchange, as long as you're holding Shen, you're going to have rewards you're going to make some rewards some some type of rewards off and it, like it says here all shen holders will get delegated rewards regardless of whether they minted the shen on the platform or bought it on the dex or centralized exchange there goes an article or a graphic rather showing right rewards the epoch the shen holding amount is distributed and as you can see it's calculating se several days right T 20 days and as you can see it's it's skipping time right from 357 to 365 then 369, 387. So depending on how this was set up is how rewards were delegated and or received, right? So then there's a lot more information on the operational fee of every transaction is paid in ADA. The operational fee is mixed ADA plus 25% of delegation rewards. Both are con converted into Cody in the market and funneled into Cody's treasury. Right? And then all of the collected operational fees will be streamlined to the Cody treasury rewards benefiting the user. In future versions, 
the the half percent operational fee will be collected directly to the platform on the platform. We are happy that we managed to put a temporary solution in place that will grow the rewards for shareholders. Multiple pool staking technology will be available in the future. DJ version aside from delegation rewards, Shen holders will benefit from the platform fees, as well as LP rewards and farming rewards. Staking rewards may also be offered to by the centralized exchange. So although this sounds like a lot, it's not that much that's being uh, implemented the first go round. So I'm assuming, just my opinion, they'll have this more robust by 2024, 2025, and we're going to see a very, very unique ecosystem being derived on Cardano especially with the ability to make sidechains. Sidechains interoperable with Cardano are gonna be extreme. Right? Get ready, things are about to be very unique. Back at the DJ website, DJ.xyz, is still in testnet phase, it hasn't gone live yet. Version 1.1.1 will be due very shortly, and we're gonna experience a new version of Cardano in the near future. There's a lot going on in this ecosystem uh, with sidechains, um, there's so much about to happen. The fact that this algorithm stablecoin is being released and is going to hold millions of ADA within it is a major milestone to me anyway, especially if this coin gets listed on multiple exchanges, especially those like Binance and or Coinbase or KuCoin. They're going to have to provide liquidity and providing liquidity means a lot to an exchange, especially high volume exchange. They're gonna have to supply millions of dollars worth of uh, stable coin assets such as DJED, and that's gonna be huge. So let's hope that this stable coin makes its way and it does a fantastic job. Now, in my humble opinion, this is gonna be very similar to what Luna, Terra Luna had in place, but with a lot more security. Uh, anything can be manipulated, but we're gonna hope that it's not. Also plays a major role in the longevity of what's gonna happen with the DJ project uh, governed by Cody. So let's hope that this works out. In the next few days, uh, we're gonna find out what's gonna happen exactly. And the fact that Liquid is also being, uh, is gonna be released on mainnet very shortly is also huge in my opinion, because then you have the Terra Luna coin, right? The stable coin, UST, and then you have a platform which is similar to Anchor Protocol, 10 times better in my opinion in the, in the near future as they get liquid becomes more robust. And then we have a lending platform with a stable coin and multiple stable coins. We can even have the IUSD as well, right? And also USDA is gonna be released by Mergo. So we're gonna have a lot of options, a lot of major options gonna come out in this ecosystem. The longevity of Cardano is gonna be, uh, have this foundation in stable coins and a robust future. So let's, let's see how this goes. So Cody, Liquid Finance, and I didn't even talk about Meld, but there's a lot of stuff going on right now in the back end. Uh, 2023 is going to be the year of Cardano. If not, 2024 is going to be tremendous. The things are going to start being released. The platforms being released on this network, this blockchain are going to be huge, and it's just a fraction of what's going to happen in the near future. And as these platforms become more robust, we will benefit from it. So this is the end of the video. I appreciate you watching it to the end. Again, if you like the content, please hit that like button. If you want to get notified every time I make a video, bell notification, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it going. Black Star, we are the light in the darkness. Peace.